Hey everyone, this is Christopher with Profex Max coming at you with another tutorial here on YouTube. And in this video, we are going to be talking about you, how to use the tracker node inside of DaVinci Resolve. Um, we're going to be talking about what it has to do with compositing and how it can be used as a really great tool uh, with uh, so many things in compositing uh, because that's basically what it is, is it's uh, mainly a compositing node that you'll use for compositing. You'll see what it's used for uh, in this tutorial. So without any further ado, let's go and jump into that tutorial. So here I have um, a piece of footage inside of DaVinci Resolve that is extremely shaky, okay? The camera goes everywhere. So you'll see if we drop a, um, so you'll see if we just drop regular fire in, the footage moves, but the fire doesn't move with it. So the way you fix that is to drop in a tracker node, okay? So let's go and drop in the tracker node. And the way you move this tracker node is you hover over here, and you'll see it right here, this little... Uh, white box right there you grab that white box and it'll instantly blow up the part of the screen where you want it uh, and so you can move it around easier so let's just go ahead and move it to a high contrast point right about there and now let's choose that window corner right here and you'll see this right here is put, showing you where exactly you're putting it there you go and I think that's pretty good. And oh man, <laughs> that's something you need to make sure, sure exactly that you're on frame one, okay? Now, this tracker node is not near as complicated as the planar tracker, so pretty much all you have to do is uh, put it where you want it and then just go and click track forward. And you'll see it's tracking it very um, fast right here. And uh, this green line is staying way up here. That means your track is pretty good, okay? It's not getting off. It'd be, I've, I've seen it down a little bit lower than this, but this track's way up here. That's pretty good. Okay, so now that the track is finished, you can go and click OK like I did, and then go over here to your operation panel and change it from None to Match Move. Now, if you drag a fire clip in, or, you know, whatever clip you want, it sticks to your footage. It's shaking around and it's sticking. And that's great. Now there's another option you can use with this tracker node. And say I wanted to grab a window fire right here. Put over that. Um, see, there's it's black, okay? And so the way you fix this, let's just go and put this over a, if I can grab it at least, go and put it where a window is. Okay. So the way you use this is not with, say, a merge node or whatever, but just go to the tracker node and go to apply mode and change it to whatever apply mode you want. In this case, it's screen. Now, you can go and place it wherever you want it. And that's great. See? See, check it out. It's staying with it. Now, um, now it will vary a little bit the tracker node isn't perfect you know it won't track it perfectly but look see even though the camera's shaking around pretty good oh, whoops it, it's, it's staying with it pretty good so yeah basically the tracker node is for if you have shaky footage and you want to match up another video with that footage okay say you had a green screen clip that you wanted to place over it like i do right here of this tiger for some reason there's a tiger wandering about in the city actually I need to change this to normal so that I can see the this normally like that so just reposition this a little bit okay so from here I can just drop in a delta here and key out the green okay Okay, drop that in after the delta here. Go and change that, this type, to hard color. And drop a color note, color corrector note in there after that and do a little bit of color correction. And basically you can use your tracker node to match any of your other clips to that clip shaky footage and so you can use it for compositing in that way. You can also, um, you can also instead in your merge selection over here, you can change it to background only, 
and that will work as a so it'll work as a stabi stabilization tool. Okay? So, but foreground over background, that works for compositing. So, yeah, I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful to you guys. If you do, click like. Have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comments below. And for more videos on everything post production, CGI, 3D, and much more, click subscribe.